about narrating this. I think. No, it's voiceover. We'll, yeah, we'll just have to voice over it because I don't think you can hear very well anyway. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking about too. Hmm, suds looks good. All right, so you can reach in. Dogs. <laughs> Two up, oh, up. Oh, Two dogs. Look out! Watch out! <laughs> Barney, go. go on, go on. Barney, go. But I want him. Go. Look out! Sit. Good boy. Good. Run like the wind. Okay. Okay. Ooh. So what we're going to do here is we're going to make up some uh, saline solution, some seven to eight parts per thousand saline for um, for fertilizing, and we're going to use this meter here that's set on parts per thousand. And we're going to bring it up to what? Seven or eight. Okay, seven or eight. So we're going to put that in there. And we got zero. And so we're just adding some, um, actually just, I don't know what that is. But a lot of times it's, uh, you just don't want to use road salt. Is this saline? Okay. No, it's plain old Just regular water. Just grab that skein between your fingers. See all that membrane there? This is grab the, that. This is this. I'll hold it open. And see this? That's mm -hmm. the skein. And mm -hmm. I like to just get, grab that with my hand and shake it a little bit. Okay. Because sometimes you'll get... This one's nice and ripe, so yeah. the eggs have all come right out. And then there, there's a balance between how long you take doing that and how much blood you get on the yeah. thing. And that's good. The eggs right. right there. Yeah, they're, if they're somewhat, if they're like partially green, green, that upper part of the skein develops last. It's a lot of them they bump shape. And this egg, mm -hmm. those eggs, these eggs are all, have already been exposed to water, and so they're hard. They're inviable. The micropile has swollen shut. Mm -hmm. All these other eggs that are real, you know, they're smaller, they're pliable, those are good viable eggs. There you go. There That's you plenty go. Okay. out of that one. Doesn't take very much, right? It's a drop, but yeah, get that other guy. Do the same thing, and that's plenty. Good. Got a little extra genetic mix going on there, right? That's what I like. And then uh, your hands—you don't want your hands too funky when you stick. But now you're going to want to stick your hands. Come, in cut, you can just up. rinse your hand off in that. Now just take, just stir those up a little bit. Yep. And then I'm gonna I'm gonna give you a little water and stir them up a little more. That's good, I like that. Now you want to let them sit for about a minute, not not really much more than a minute. Oh yeah. <laughs> okay. This Blood and, and if you pour, you want to pour kind of quick, 
a little faster so it sucks that stuff out of the bucket. See the blood clot floating in there? That's stuff you don't want. Or any kind of dirt, anything that's not a live egg in there, you don't want. Yeah, they turn. Yeah. Mm -hmm. All those water are going to turn white. Do it again. Yeah, so do it again. Yep. Yeah, that would be good. Two inches of that would be good. Yeah. And there's a lot of garbage and stuff in there. You can sometimes get to do a race three or four times if you have time. Oh, this is the small. Yeah. Oh, yeah. There's usually six or seven or maybe ten. Yeah, you would like that. Yeah, when we're doing chunks, we do five feet of white baby spider. Come on, chemistry skills. So, tip it so she can see it, and we'll talk about those eggs. So these, all these white eggs were those water-hardened eggs that you felt early on. And, and so these were the inviolable eggs. The eggs that are nice and orange and translucent, those are all eggs that have been fertilized. So this is the tray we're going to dump the eggs into. There's a top on it here. Pull the top off. Just pull that guy in there like that. You're going to dump the eggs gently into this portion here. Usually you're okay if you're pouring eggs into water. Flows out over the front here, over this lip. Okay, and then this water migrates around this channel and dumps into the incubator at the bottom, here, the bottom below it. <coughs> so you always have this upwelling water coming through the eggs. 